In this example, we want to evaluate the limit of this function as h goes to zero, okay? Um, so let's first do a direct substitution to see what we get. So letting h be equal to zero, we're going to get square root of four plus zero minus two, all divided by zero, okay? So square root of four is gonna give us two, so we have two minus two on top, divided by zero, so this is gonna give us zero or zero. So this is an indeterminate result. So this tells us um, that we're going to have a, if we graph this function, this is gonna, there's, go, there's gonna be a hole in this graph. Um, and so from here, what we need to do is we need to use, uh, we need to rewrite this function, okay? And in this, in this case, uh, the technique that we're going to use, okay, is going to be, uh, we're going to use the idea of the conjugate, okay? So that is something, uh, so I think most of you all have heard this, uh, this term before from pre-calc, okay? All right, so we're going to apply that here, okay? And by applying the conjugate, this is going to allow us to cancel out the h values. And then from there, we can get our, our answer, okay? All right, so working with our function, we have square root of 4 plus h minus 2, all divided by h. All right, so we're going to take the conjugate. You want to take the conjugate of the, the uh, value of the square root, okay? So that involves, so that's in the numerator. So the conjugate of the numerator is square root of 4 plus h plus two, okay? So since we're multiplying the numerator by this result, then we need to multiply the denominator by this result, okay? Because uh, we don't wanna change the original function, okay? So essentially this is just multiplying our function by one, okay? So, the conjugate, so just make sure when you're doing the conjugate, okay, these, right, these should be uh, different signs, okay. All right, these should be opposite sign values, okay. All right, so those are conjugates of each other, okay. So now we can go ahead and uh, multiply everything out. So let's see. So for the for the top, so focusing on the on the top part, we're going to get square root of four plus h times the square root of four plus h minus two times square root of four plus h times. Let's see. Well, it doesn't matter. We can put this plus here, and then we have minus two times square root four plus h, and then minus four. Okay, and all this is going to be divided by h times square root of 4 plus h plus 2. Okay, all right, so, so, you, so the conjugate, okay, if you recall, using the conjugate, um, that's going to allow us to cancel out the middle terms, okay? So these will cancel out, okay? And... Okay, so this will leave us with, okay, so we have square root of 4 plus h times the square root of 4 plus h, so that's just going to be 4 plus h minus 4, all divided by h times the square root of 4 plus h plus 2. Okay. Oops, all right, so that's, sorry. Okay. And this, okay. Um, so from here, the, the 4, right, we get 4 minus 4, that's going to give us 0, and then we can cancel out the h. So that's going to leave us with 1 all divided by square root of 4 plus h plus 2, okay? All right. All right, so now, so that is using the conjugate, okay, to expand, right, and then we expanded it, okay, expanded our uh, expression, okay? So if you wanted to, um, you could have, you know, instead of expanding everything out, you could just simply say, uh, okay, just square. So you square the 4 plus h, okay, square for 4 plus h of the square root, 
that will give you 4 plus h and then square and then take the square of 2 okay and that will give you 4 and then you're going to have a minus here because of the difference of signs okay so if you want to expand it out that's that's fine okay or if you want to just take the square of those terms uh, that's okay too all right so then from here right we're pretty much done now we just need to take the limits of of our uh, of our function. So we have 1 over square root of 4 plus h plus 2. So doing a direct substitution, so letting h, uh, letting h approach 0, uh, we're going to get square root of 4 plus 2. So that's going to give us right, 1 over 2 plus 2, which is going to be 1 fourth. Okay. All right, so this is uh, this is how we use a conjugate. All right, so just gotta keep in mind, uh, make sure the sign values are different, and and doing this, this will allow you to cancel out the h, okay, and then therefore you can do a direct substitution to get the limit. All right.